Over the last year or so, I've been doing these videos on my channel where I test out really popular, hyped products, things that are really viral, things that I'm seeing everywhere, things that the it girls use, things that are insanely expensive and I'm just curious about them, you know, kind of being your guinea pig and testing it out for you. For some of these videos, I've also tested out dupe versions of the like really expensive products. All of those videos, by the way, I will link down in the description box below in a playlist so you can check them out if you've missed any of them or if you're curious. Those have been really fun and in a lot of those videos, I get tons of comments being like, please update us, let us know if you still use this or not. So I thought I would go through all of the videos that I have done in the past, all of the products, all of the dupes, everything like that, and just kind of break it down and let you know what I still use, what I think is worth it, what's held up over time. You know, some of these products I've had for over a year now, some I've had for several months, and just kind of let you know. An honest opinion, I have purchased every single one of these products with my own money, none of it's sponsored or gifted at all whatsoever. It's just gonna be a very honest recap. So we have a lot of products to cover from several different videos. I think you might be surprised too. So let's jump in. All right, so let's rewind back to like a year ago where I did my first video. I tested out a bunch of it girl or that girl products that I saw all over the internet. I also did a video testing out dupes of those products, which we will get into. So starting at the very beginning with Hoka's, those were the very first thing I tested out. I had seen so many reviews and Instagram ads and Instagram stories and posts and things on TikTok about how Hoka's were like the most comfortable shoes ever. So I bought them. I tested them out. As you know, I loved them. And to this day, I wear them all the time. I still have them. They've gotten quite dirty over the last year because I hike in them. I feel like they have like a slip resistance kind of on the bottom and that's just really nice for hiking. So yeah, they get kind of dirty. But yeah, my overall thoughts on them a year later is that please get them if you can, if you can afford it and you're really looking for like a long-term investment for sneakers that feel so, so comfortable on your feet. They come in a wide width version and a regular version. I do have wide feet and I got the regulars and they're totally fine. But I use those things all the time. I think they're definitely worth the money, especially when you break it down for costs per wear. I mean, I wear them like a couple few times a week, honestly, especially when I'm walking around my neighborhood. They're just, there's nothing like them. There's nothing as squishy and they're truly amazing. Like I can't recommend them enough. So I 100% stand by those. Those are like a big thumbs up for me. I literally love them. I love Hoka so much. I ended up getting Drew some for his birthday last year and now like he's hooked and obsessed. A year later, they are still like amazing in my book. I love them. Next up, we have the Apple AirPod Maxes. I think I said that right. I still get it confused every single time. There's so many names. I love these things. I still use them regularly. They're an amazing Bluetooth headphone. This video came out right around the time last year when they first got released and I was like, how on earth can I justify spending this much on a pair of headphones? But they're pretty good. I mean, I'm still using them all the time when I take walks. There's like a noise canceling version. There's like a normal version. You can control the volume like right there on your ear. It's just amazing. That being said, they are a very expensive pair of headphones like I mentioned. I did learn since filming that video that you can take off the ear pieces and clean them, which is amazing. They're like magnetic. So you can just clean them and then put them back on because I was a little concerned with like sweat and workouts and stuff. And they're great. They're great. I still use them probably three times a week. So as an official update, yeah, they're in the rotation heavy for sure. Next we have the Dyson Air Wrap, which was something that I had been wanting for a couple of years. And I'm glad that I waited as long as I did because number one, I made sure I really wanted it. And number two, Dyson ended up releasing like another version of the Air Wrap. So instead of having two different curling wands, like one for each direction of your hair, they just made it all into one and like put a little switch on the top. So it like could change directions and you didn't have to change the barrels. So I liked that a lot. And okay, I'm gonna be honest, if I would have made this update video like two, three months ago, I probably would have had a very different opinion because for the last almost year, actually over a year now, I've mostly only been using it as a blow dryer. <laughs> like I haven't really done a whole lot with the blowout thing. I've done like a couple different things here and there and I just couldn't really seem to like perfect that blowout look or just the look that I was trying to achieve. But lately I've been trying to play around with it more. I've been trying different techniques. You know, my hair is shorter and I've just been playing around with different attachments and stuff. And I actually think I am starting to get the hang of it. And I think I am starting to like it a lot more. I feel like it's a great tool if you wanna give yourself, yeah, like that blowout look, that very kind of bouncy look, that 70s look, if that's what you're looking for, the Farrah Fawcett curls. You can do all of that with the Dyson. There's also like a straightening or a smoothing attachment. There's a round brush attachment. Like there's a lot of different things. So, you know, for the most part, I have been using it as just a blow dryer for my hair. And I was just kind of like, oh, well, I'm stuck with it. There was a point where I thought about selling 
selling it and then I was like, no, you know what? I'm gonna stick it out. I'm gonna hang on to it. And I'm, I'm glad I did. I really am. So yeah, I would say, I mean, I use it every time I wash my hair because I dry my hair with it, but I have been trying to play around with different attachments and maybe I'll do like an update video where I try out a bunch of different methods with the Dyson and just let you know from like a very normal gal's perspective, not like a professional. Maybe we'll do that in the future, but yeah, still use it and still love it for sure. And then the last one for that video was the Kindle Paper White. I feel like last year was just the year for the Kindle girlies. Like the Kindle girlies were dominating. They were everywhere. They still are, but just everyone started making switches to e-readers. And it was something that I was interested in. Number one, because it's better for the environment. And like, I found myself collecting lots of books over the years and like filling up bookshelves and then needing new bookshelves and needing more storage for other books. Something about just having everything compact and like all in one was really intriguing to me, but I am such still to this day, such a physical books girly. I had such a hard time like letting go of that idea. And I was like, I'm gonna test it. But I was like totally pessimistic about it. And um, I have been changed. I have influenced everyone in my life to get a Kindle. I was talking to my mom about it this weekend. Drew just bought a Kindle. I just don't know how to explain it. It just makes me read books faster. It's amazing because you can read at nighttime. You can store like thousands of books if you want, depending on the storage. Like it's just easy to throw in your bag and go. You don't have to like switch out different books. You don't have to have bookmarks, like none of that. And it's just so iconic. The battery lasts so long. Like I don't think I've charged my Kindle in like a month and a half. I'm just such a Kindle girl now. I don't know what to say. I still love feeling the pages of a book. I still love the smell of a book, but this one's just good. I, I get it now. Next up, we have the dupes video. So for all the products that I just mentioned, I tested out more affordable and easily accessible dupes. So for the Hoka's, there was a dupe that went super viral on TikTok and it was called the Walmart Hoka dupes. And they were an Avia shoe from Walmart. I think at the time they were like $20 or maybe less. And now since the like virality happened and they got really popular, I think they're closer to like $30 now, maybe 27, I think. And they're great. Honestly, they're good shoes. I have nothing bad to say about them. They're not exactly like hokas, but they're really similar. I would say if you're looking to save money and you don't want to spend, you know, 150 or $180 on a pair of sneakers like hokas, you should go for the dupe, honestly. They're really comfortable. I still wear them a lot. And I would say probably because the dupes that I bought were black and white, and then the hokas that I bought were all white, I kind of interchanged them a lot. And just depending on like which outfit I'm wearing and what color goes better with it, I will kind of switch it out. But I will say that I reach for the hokas more. I do still have the dupes and I do still wear them, especially for workouts and walks and hikes and things like that, but just not as much as like the OGs, but they're still great. Like they're so affordable, very comfortable. They don't have that like cloud feature. Like they're still squishy and comfy, but it's not near what the Hoka's are anyway. So yeah, almost a year later, I'm still using and loving them. They're just not like quite exactly the same, but that's just kind of how dupes are sometimes. And still really good, like still a really good pair of shoes and really cute. Then for the AirPods Max, I found like a sort of comparable Amazon dupe and I did a bunch of research search on the internet trying to find this and trying to find solid articles that had people testing out the two and comparing and contrasting them. The ones that I landed on were a fraction of the price and they were really cool and they had a lot of the similar features. There was still noise canceling. There was also an app that came with it, which was kind of cool. So you could like control things from the app on your phone if you wanted to. However, I don't really use those because number one, I don't need duplicates of all of these products. So a lot of the times when I buy these things for videos, I'll either like give them to people and my family or donate them or whatever. And I actually ended up giving those to Drew. My boyfriend Drew does a lot of like calls and stuff for work for his job. And so he was using a pair of headphones that was like kind of on the way out. So I was like, oh, do you want to just use these? And he was like, yeah. And the cool thing is those ones have an option to have a cord to plug them in. So if you don't want to do them Bluetooth, there's a cord where you can just like plug it into your computer. So he uses those like pretty much on an everyday basis and he loves them. So the official update, I guess, is that they're still in my home. They're still being used, but just not by me. And I would totally wear them if I hadn't already bought the AirPod Maxes. And I still recommend them if you're on the hunt and you don't want to spend freaking $600 on a pair of headphones, obviously. I think they're really great. And then for the Revlon, I think it's called the Revlon One Step Styler as a sort of Dyson air wrap dupe. A lot of people were using those and achieving that really cute 90s blowout look. And I just never was able to perfect it with that one. I do think that it's a good alternative. However, over time, I did feel like the Revlon 
one, one was like actually burning my hair off. Like I really could feel the heat, even using it on low heat. And I just felt like I was frying my hair. And I actually have seen a lot of people say that the Revlon one kind of like fried their hair off. So I ended up, I think, giving it to my mom, I wanna say, I'm pretty sure. And I'd actually had that one for a while. Like I think I had had it for a while before I even tested it out, like a couple years maybe. And I just don't find myself reaching for it, but a lot of people love it and swear by it. So it totally depends on the person, but I don't use it anymore. I don't even have it in my house anymore. And I'm just gonna stick with the Dyson, but it is a good option if you want something a little bit more accessible and way more affordable. And then the last product for this video is the Amazon Fire 7, which is a dupe for the Kindle Paperwhite. So this was kind of a loophole because this was recommended as like a nice dupe for the Kindle. It's still another Amazon product, but it's just less expensive. It's like not as realistic with like book pages and stuff. It has more of a shiny screen, but the kind of like loophole here was that Drew already got one. He won it from his work a couple of years ago. So it had just been sitting in a drawer. And so instead of like buying a new product for the video, I was like, oh, let me just test this one out. Cause it was used in a lot of articles as recommendations for dupes. And so I tested it out and it's honestly fine. Like there's, there's a few things, but it uses the same Kindle app. Like it's, you know, you buy the same books from the same Amazon store. I read like a full book on it and it was fine. There was nothing wrong with it inherently. I just prefer the Kindle white. It looks more like a book page. It's less like you're reading on a tablet and more like you're just reading, I don't know, on an e-reader. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. The other one was cool because you could like take pictures with it. You know, it was more like an iPad type of device that had a Kindle app on it as opposed to like just the Kindle itself. So if you're still considering it, go for it. It's If you want to save money, go for it. But this video is kind of like an update and all of my thoughts on it. So I do prefer the Kindle Paperwhite by far, but I still think it's a great dupe and an option that's available if you're interested in it. The next video is testing out really popular, very hyped by influencer expensive products. So products that I saw a lot of influencers talking about or just people that I follow talking about on like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, seeing them in vlogs, etc. So the first one of those is the Ember coffee mug. And this is, I think the first of its kind, as far as I know, it's a self-heating mug that has an app that comes with it. It's like very high tech and very fancy and it keeps your beverage is hot for I think up to three hours. And it's like such a luxurious product as well, but I just felt like for the price that it was, which was $150 by the way, for a mug that like you have to charge and then, you know, use with your hot coffee and then turn the temperature up in the app and blah, 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 blah. Like it was just like a lot of work. And so for me personally, I just prefer if I like need my coffee to stay hot for a long time, I just prefer using an insulated mug. You can just put a lid on it and it stays hot for hours. And those are just a fraction of the price, but for the like purpose, which I completely understand, it's for a lot of people who are like on the go and they, you know, want to be able to just like have their coffee stay hot. They don't want to run back and forth to the microwave and heat up their coffee or whatever. I totally get that. For me, it just wasn't really worth it, especially for the price. And I just would never reach for it. Like it just wouldn't be something that I ever use. So I ended up gifting it to a friend. I only used it one time. So now it's in good hands. We have friends that are like big, big coffee people. So it has now started a new life in a new home. I don't want to offend the ember community because I know the ember girlies feel very strongly about their ember mugs, but it just, it wasn't for me. Next, we have the Barefoot Dreams blanket, which is like the just mega influencer blanket. Like I saw so many influencers talk about these blankets for so long and I was like, what could be so great about a $200 blanket? But I had to find out obviously. And I mean, it was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I won't lie to you, like I get it. Um, I don't really get the price, but I get it. So we actually do still have it on our couch as an update. Drew uses it like every single day. Also our cat Moo is obsessed with it. He loves laying underneath it and it's really good. It's a really comfy blanket and we still have it, obviously. Drew uses it more often because it's a little bit thicker than what I would like, but I have like an Amazon blanket that's like just as good. So keep that in mind, but it really is like a great blanket. Um, would I buy another one? No, probably not because there are dupes that exist, which we will talk about in a minute, that I think are just as good. So it's very soft, very comfy. It's like the most buttery blanket ever, but I don't think it's totally unique and couldn't be purchased for less money somewhere else. So we still have it, but like I wouldn't buy it again. Next we have uh, a very controversial item. <laughs> 
a lot of the a lot of the Europeans were coming for me for this one. And this is the GE Opal ice maker. I think it's the Opal 2.0 and it is like I would say for years now the most popular ice maker for the influencers. I saw so many people that had them in their kitchens and this is a freaking $700 ice maker. So, I wanted to make sure that if I was buying this that, you know, I was going to do it for review purposes and then also like be able to keep it for myself, you know. So, this is just the most magnificent thing I've ever bought. I use it every single day. Drew uses it every single day. I literally have some ice in my Stanley right now. I drink a lot of water, so if you're not someone who like drinks water, makes little drinks, makes little cocktails, enjoys really icy, icy, crispy cold beverages, then like obviously this wouldn't be for you, but I swear to you, I use this thing like daily, multiple times a day, honestly. We went out of town this weekend and I was like looking forward to coming home and using my ice maker again. We use distilled water in it and then we do like a lot of cleaning. It's got some upkeep for sure. We definitely stumbled into some issues with it at the beginning I think we got sold like a used one, but it was advertised as new. So anyway. <laughs> ah. But Best Buy replaced it and we haven't had any issues since it's like truly one of the best investments I've ever made personally. And if that's not for you, that's totally okay. But I love it. I use it every single day. Now for the next video, which is another dupes video for the previous products I just mentioned, I think it's cool to like continually try to find more affordable versions of things. But I did feel like when I was doing dupe videos that I was purchasing like extras of each of these. So luckily I found homes for all of these. We'll talk about it. The first one being a mug that was popular on Amazon. I believe it was called the Ion Mug. And I actually found that based on off of a lot of your comments. You guys were like, Carrie, there's a mug that's a dupe for the Ember one. It's like $40, it's from Walmart, it's a fraction of the price. It keeps the drink even hotter, it has a lid, etc. So I tested it out and it's great, but I just didn't see myself using it again. I feel like it's just not something that I would ever reach for. I would just much rather use like a stainless steel insulated mug. So I did end up giving this one to my mom and my mom used it like one or two times and then she donated it. So that is unfortunately what happened with this one, but yeah, it just wasn't like my my go-to thing. It's not my thing that like I would ever reach for. I thought that I would be into it, but I just really wasn't. But it was a good dupe overall for the actual Ember mug. Like it worked just as well. It came with a lid, which the Ember didn't. It had pretty good battery life. Like it kept the drinks very hot, but it's just, again, it wasn't like my ideal product. So I did ultimately end up parting ways with it, but it was a great dupe. Then for the Barefoot Dreams blanket dupe, which was a Costco blanket that honestly, I think was like so comfortable and almost exactly just as nice. That one I would still totally recommend and you know for sure go with the Costco version or they have Amazon dupes as well that are just as good. Honestly you do not need to spend $200 on a blanket. These were just as warm, just as cozy, almost exactly just as soft and this one I actually purposely did order for my mom because I already have so many blankets in my house and she has it on her couch and she loves it. She still uses it to this day. It comes in lots of cute colors and I would definitely definitely recommend it. Then for the GE Opal ice maker dupe, which was, I think it was called AG Lucky was the brand. I got it from Amazon and it arrived broken. So that was unfortunate. And I did test it out for the video, just for the video's sake. Um, and it worked fine. Honestly, there was nothing wrong with it. It was just the one that I particularly got was kind of a dud because it was actually broken. And the more I was thinking about it, you know, the top was cracked and there were pieces missing off the side. I was like, I don't know if this is like safe to use because there's, you know, coolant and stuff in it. And I'm pretty sure that's like uh, an explosive risk. So I did end up returning it and I got my money back, which was nice. So I did use it the one time, but if you were able to get your hands on it and not <laughs> get a broken one, like I did, totally go for it. Like it's honestly a great option. It makes the bullet ice instead of the nugget ice. So it's not like shaved down and then compacted into little nuggets, but it is in these sort of like bullet shapes. And I thought it was really good. It was a fraction of the price. I'm pretty sure there was a coupon as well that was going on or like some kind of discount. But yeah, I still think it's really good and I would recommend it if you were interested. And then the very last video, the most recent one that I did was testing out a bunch of viral TikTok products. So the first one was these like very bendy flexi rod thingies that were supposedly gonna give me this amazing overnight blowout and it just made me look like Dolly Parton. A lot of you had good feedback for me and and a lot of you actually were so sweet and were like, your hair, it honestly didn't look that bad. I liked it. And to that I say, you're all lying, but that's very sweet of you and I appreciate it. It just wasn't for me. I would never reach for it. I have since found a heatless 
curls sort of waves tutorial that I think is a lot better and it doesn't require any products like it doesn't require any sort of rods or things that you like need to bend around in your hair you use your own hair so maybe I'll do like an overnight heatless curls video or do like a YouTube reel a Instagram short something like that because I like that a lot better so yeah just not for me not the product for me but I have heard a lot of people have a lot of success with them and they use them like all the time I'm not saying it's a bad product at all it's just like I never saw myself using it the other products that I tried was a lot of water talk recipes which um, was very controversial I had some very very angry opinions because I said I didn't like sugar-free nerd grape flavored packets I was trying to be as respectful as possible but it's just not my thing so I probably shouldn't have been the one to test it out um, and yeah as an update I did end up just throwing all of those products away which was sad I, I did I tried I tried mixing it with other things and in different recipes and in sparkling water and stuff it's just like it's not for me you know it's not really my thing I do like crystal light from time to time and liquid IV and stuff but it just wasn't like up my particular alley And then the last one, the very last product is the Ninja Creamy. This was probably one of the most hyped viral products or trends or whatever you wanna call it that I have seen yet. Like the, it's everywhere, especially on my For You page on TikTok. And it is like an ice cream maker that you froze little containers with the ice cream in it. And then it kind of has a blade that blends it into an ice cream consistency. But for me, it just didn't work as well as I anticipated. Drew and I tried it like probably three or four times after that video was done throughout the course of like maybe four or five days like we were trying to perfect these recipes and be like okay we're gonna become ninja creamy people but I feel like the consensus with a lot of trendy kitchen gadgets appliances whatever you want to call it like that is that they're just that you know you kind of get over it after a while you don't really use it that frequently I wasn't super impressed like it wasn't consistent and you had to mix it like three or four times it was so loud it was just so loud and I felt like a failure because everyone was talking about how much they loved it and how incredible it was but yeah, I just didn't think it was worth the money or worth my time. I would much rather just buy ice cream. That's just my personal opinion though. And I, I feel like a lot of times for people who are looking to do like lower sugar versions or protein versions of desserts, it's probably a great option for them um, because I saw so many cool recipes on YouTube and on TikTok and it's cool, it's creative. You can get fun with it. But yeah, it just wasn't something that I could see myself using long-term. I'll just buy some ice cream if I want some, you know? That is a lot of thoughts about a lot of products, but also a lot of you asked about it. So hopefully that answered all of your questions. And if you're still here, then honestly, hats off to you. Truly, you deserve an award. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know if there are any other videos where you wanna see me test out viral products, popular products, it girl products, whatever it may be. Thank you so much for being here and for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.